how the Canadian Fencing Academy started and what its purpose is. Well, we started about 20 years ago. Uh, we started as a group of people who just loved fencing. And then we decided we are really good at it, so why don't we make that a whole thing? So we uh, bought this original unit, and then about 2019, 2020, we bought the unit next door and expanded. We're, we're still growing ever since then. Whether I've been fencing for 20 years or this is my first time, I'm guessing you have a program for me. Can you tell us about those? Absolutely. Well, uh, if you've never fenced before, we'd start you with beginners. From there, it really depends on how much you want to fence, how, how hard you want to train. Uh, for fencing, it's so important to be self-driven and to want it. And the more you want it, the more we can help you. And the more you can improve. The more you can improve, absolutely. You offer some amazing, fun classes here, and one of those classes is called Saber for those Star Wars fans out there. What do you do in Saber? Uh, well, for uh, Sport Saber, uh, we use competitive training techniques to get you ready for an Olympic-style competition. For our light sword training, uh, we do a choreographed class. So we teach you choreographed moves and then we allow you to develop a fight as you would for a film, right? Uh, usually it's about 30 seconds long, which seems like nothing until you actually have to do it when it's forever. Students are only as good as their coaches, and the coaches here are what make the Canadian Fencing Academy so great. How do you go about hiring them? So, at first, you have to have a passion. You have to love what you're doing. You have to be patient, but almost every coach needs to be that. We actually have been here long enough that we've started to develop coaches from students who used to be children here. And now they've grown up and they love it and they want to continue that. They want to show that and share that with the next generation. That's kind of amazing. It's, it's a super rewarding thing as a coach to have a student come in and say, I want to be what you were for me to the next generation. You have some amazing alumni here and your students have also advanced to do really cool things. Can you tell us about some of the most impressive stories you have from them? Oh, well, I mean, I guess the top would have to be Eleanor Harvey. She's on the Olympic team now. She's gone to both Rio and she went to Tokyo. She's looking to go to Paris. Uh, we've had provincial champions go through here. But for me, uh, my real bailiwick is the beginner level classes. And for that, seeing kids who I gave beginner classes to come back with their kids and say, I would like my child to start the fencing training I had, that is the most rewarding thing. That is the gold standard for me. I've got my outfit on, but my outfit is not complete without the weapon. So I've got my coach here, Christian. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm very excited to learn about the sport of fencing. But before we get into it, how did you become a coach here? Well, um, I've known uh, the, the owners of the club for quite some time. And I was the head coach at another club. And when that one, you know, uh, didn't pan out, uh, they took me in with uh, one coach that was uh, switching me in and out. So it worked out perfectly <laughs> that I had a new home to, uh, to start coaching the, the very new and young Sabre program. So it's nice to continue that and grow it from that. I want to know more about the gear that I have on. Can you sure. walk me through what each piece is and what it's used for? Absolutely. So uh, at first, what you have there, um, what you're wearing on you right now is uh, the plastron or the jacket. And it's usually made out of like a very um, tough weave uh, cotton or, or out of a Kevlar, a lighter grade Kevlar. Uh, also on your hand, you have the glove or the gauntlet. And um, it's basically there so that you have a little bit of a better grip on the weapon. 
as well as protecting your sleeve from catching any blades coming through. In your hands, we have the mask. It is something that is quite essential, and of course, having the bib on it as well helps, you know, protect helps your protect your neck. But then even if that doesn't work, what you have here is a blade catcher. So this sleeve underneath your collar there, actually, if that doesn't help, that'll catch the blade as a last resort. But of course, like I said earlier, an outfit's not complete without the weapon. What kind of weapon are we holding today? So yeah, today we have the saber. So there are three weapons, the foil, the FA, the saber. This is the one that I coach here. Um, this is the only one, uniquely so, that does, will not have you know, a rubber tip if you're doing practice weapons or a button at the top because the whole blade is used to cut and score points with. Uh, it does make it unique that way. Also, the, the bell guard has you know, a classic saber hand guard to it as well because it is kind of held in this very forward motion and there's a lot of clashing that can happen between the bell guards together. So it is something that is quite essential to catch a blade and also protect your hand at the same time. Well, we got the rundown. Yeah. Now it's time to learn. Sure. So let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, before I even get to the saber, I need to learn how to move. That's right. What does fencing look like when you're actually in the game. So it's very similar to how uh, some martial arts have their stances, but it's a little more linear. It's You're only using one side of your body. So the best way to kind of get into your on guard stance, okay, is if, you, if you're if you side to side with me like this, you put whatever hand you're fighting with is, is forward here, put your feet in like an L position, right, and line up your heels and then go put them about shoulder length apart from each other. And then, as if you're sitting on a stool, sit right down. Your butt's not sticking out, you're right on top like that, nice and straight, that, okay? So we start with the front foot and we kick it out and catch up. So as we bring that foot down, we land everything together like that. So kick out, catch up. And now try to smooth it all together, kick out, catch up, perfect. Really good. Going backwards now, instead of using the heel, you're reaching with the back foot and using the ball of your foot to grab that ground. So go reach back, Kick out, catch up. And again, yeah, don't hop. Just sit. <laughs> I know it's very, you want to hop so bad. Your body wants to hop, I know. The big one and the thing that takes a lot of time to harness, uh, and it, because it's a big trust thing with your body, is the lunge. So, um, toe. So just raise the toe without the knee, oh. right? Just raise the toe. And then heel go is all one motion. So you might want to rest for a second and not mirror this yet but it's arm, toe, heel, go. Because as you're lifting up, you are not leaning back, you're pressing with the back leg and letting your hip thrust forward. So here. Wow, okay. And then you land on the heel. Ooh, yeah. come on. <laughs> Dang it, okay. Yeah. I thought I'd get this. Steps are fun and all, but I came here to fight. So Christian, teach me how uh -huh. to do that. So turn that wrist outside, yeah, and let that elbow be in, and then run that blade right into the mask. Just right into your mask. Go for okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, <laughs> just your arm, just your arm. Go ahead. Yeah, and cut with the blade, yep. There you go. This feels so unnatural. <laughs> oh my, whoa. Don't worry, okay? that's why I'm wearing this. <laughs> <laughs> Never in my life would I have thought that I would be stabbing someone in the head. Oh, good correction. You corrected it though. You got your balance right. Good. And come back up. Ooh. So I'm going to do the lunge. Right. You step back and parry. Step back and fight. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to come at you and you, you bring that up and then you hit me back. Okay. All right. Good, Woo! nice, nice. <laughs> there you go, let's try it again. I've learned the skills and now it's time to put them to the test.
<laughs> Didn't even know what I was doing there. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Spar. That's on right. Guard. Good. Okay. He's going easy on me. Oh, yeah. You have the chance. Come in. Oh. 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 <laughs> Watch that backhand. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Right. I just got tired. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't win there, but that was absolutely so fun. Thank you so much, Christian. I think I need a couple more classes. If you want to learn to fence, head to canadianfencingacademy.ca. <laughs>